Well, a massive police presence on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus today might have made it look like something was seriously wrong, but it was all part of a planned training exercise organized by UB. Our Lauren Hall shows us how it was an effort to make that area safer. The drill began with a simulated explosion inside the loading dock area of UB's Jacob School of Medicine on Washington Street, which then in the scenario set off a police chase and injured dozens. Again, everyone involved in this was OK. It was just a training exercise and every detail was carefully orchestrated. The emergency response today looked real, but this was all for practice. There was never an explosion or even a loud noise and no one was actually hurt. The quote unquote wounded victims were played by actors. They will be made up with fake wounds and blood and everything and uh, actually transported to both the Oshai Children's and to Buffalo General Medical Center. So this was the first time UB practiced for an emergency away from their main campuses, and it took a lot of coordination. The hospitals had to warn their patients, staff, and visitors not to be alarmed when they arrived to find all the extra police and fire crews on the scene. We learn so much. You know, can your radio talk to my radio if we're from different agencies? Is, is it different? Uh, being on this playing field down here than being on other UB campuses. And uh, that's the real win for us here is to learn those lessons in a practice environment, like I said, and uh, take that away. And if it does happen for real, then uh, we've learned the lessons and can do even better. Washington Street and the other areas where the drill took place are now back open to traffic this afternoon. This was the largest of these emergency drills that UB has conducted since they began doing them several years ago. Reporting in downtown Buffalo, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.